Hello everyone. This is uh, Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010 series. I, I have uh, this is my second uh, lesson. Uh, the, in the first one, what we have done is we have this code. You know what we have we have done. We have the, you know two functions here. These are comes default. Uh, I mean the functions. But what we have done is we use the digital pin six, which is the default pin actually. And we use that as an output pin mode because we are going to put electricity. Uh, we are putting a charge on it, so it's an outputting. Uh, this, uh, and then we use digital write and high means actually this is one. These are constant va variables, and low which means zero. But we can use directly like this. So when we have done this, when we send this to the Arduino, we see this. Now it is blinking all the time, um, like this. As you see, it is just blinking this onboard LED. So let's go back to the code and see what we ha what we have done. So here it is. But in this lesson, what is my plan is to uh, use not the onboard one, but external led and let me show you in with the document camera i have here one red led i have a resistor because the voltage is too if this it comes too much it will burn out this led and some connector jumper cables these are connecting and i have this bread breadboard so it is easy to connect i don't need to do any uh you know so uh, any other things just I will plug these things and it will easily be done um this is I'm doing for the first time so you will be uh, I will be doing together with you I need to arrange my microphone so you can hear me let's go back to the code uh, but but before coding let's set up this one so as you see we have a lot of different uh, pins so I'm going to use pin 11 in this one uh, and we, I have to use the ground as well, right, to, uh, to, uh, to connect this LED. So LED is, is polarized. So if you look at this LED, it has a long pin, long leg, and a short one. So it is important the long should be on the positive. So it should get the electricity. The short one uh, should be on the, uh, on the nature or ground, okay? So if I connect this to you know any any number over here, which is let's say uh, in this one also I'm going to use eleven. Let's understand a little bit the breadboard. Breadboard. These vertical lines are connected together, wired together underneath. And this plus sign and minus sign, if you see, these are horizontally they are connected to each other. So if I plug something here all these uh, these pins will be a negative ground if i put some voltage here all these will be positive but this works just the reverse and uh, so uh, these look li li like this 24 row these are connected together so if i connect something here if i want to connect with other cable i will insert any of these pins and there's a here trench is is totally disconnected as if i have you know, half of the bread uh, board is here, half of them here, so they are disconnected from each other. So that's, I guess, clear. So I'm going to put, uh, firstly, this, um, uh, this resistor. Firstly, let me take this resistor and bend the leg a little bit. So, like this. I'm going to put one of the leg to is 11 very hard to see 11 the other one is going to go 60 need to a little bit push hard to get in 11 went in and the other go to 17 so odd number I can remember this is done so we get uh, uh, our uh, resistor in place. So resistors one leg. I will be using red to get the power. So 
here I'm going to use the 11 which is this here I have the 11 I put this 11 here and connect this 11 to just the 11 here so I can remember but it's obscuring uh, because the cable is just coming on top of it hope you can hear me because I'm a little bit far away from the mic so 11 is connected to 11 and this resistor comes here so resistor brings me as a uh, charge positive charge so I, in order to connect this leg with my long leg of LED I need to use the same one anywhere this will work because these are all connected I am going to use this middle one so 17 is going there and this is I'm going to use another this will be 21 okay I'm using all odd numbers so these are just looks like they're okay so I need an cable to connect to the ground it is a little bit hard to bend now you see the ground which is this white GND it says so I'm going to use this one the ground first over here so done and I'm going to use again 21 but I need to bend a little bit like this so 21 is you see it is now turned on a little bit I guess we have some electricity already maybe you can see it right a little bit I can see it so what is my plan is to change my code let's go back to the code so here is my code so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to change this code instead of pin LED 6 I'm going to use pin 11 okay and the layman is same pin LED that's it so if I compile this and if I load this you will see just a second it is still transferring yes do you see the LED is turns on and off now I'm not using the onboard LED over here if you look at that it's gone so it's a little bit crooked so let's do this. So let's zoom in just that one. And we are connected to the 11 on this one over here. It is very hard to see on the side. You can see it. For me, the connection part is difficult. And now connected, and we have disconnected the ground. So our LED turns on and off. Go back to the code. Here is our code. Okay. So I'm, I don't need that part. So I can close it. In number is 11 and 500 uh, delay amount. So let's go over this code from the very beginning because I didn't write from the scratch. This is our previous lesson. We wrote this from scratch. This is a, our variable which initialized the 11. And we have delay amount which is half a second, 500. Uh, so this pin mode. This uh, pin mode is a function. These orange are all uh, system functions. So pin mode, this pin LED is output. Uh, we, we are going to put electricity to that one. So if digital write, then we say hi. Actually, this means one. So we give the uh, this one, which is turned on. So we give the positive charge. And we wait the delay amount after turning on. We wait a uh, half a second and later on we turned off after that we wait again half a second so we can see the it is when it is turned off as you see it is turning on and off nicely so that is all for today's thing so what we have done is we use a resistor which is very hard to see here a resistor Let's zoom in a little bit to this one. And and this is the resistor we are using. One LED. And our jumper cables. Mostly I'll try to use this red one for the power. And lighter colors for the ground. That's all for today. And, and if you want to learn more about Maker Wi-Fi 1010. You can go to the website. 
and get more information from here and if you wonder about the constants and you can see there are you know high low and we were using six six is actually led built-in so i can use this this is six in wi-fi 1010 and if you want you can see more things like functions we are now currently using digital write because we are outputting some data if you look at here we are outputting some data so digital write we are using and we use pin mod we didn't use these yet um thank you for watching i hope to meet you with our second video have a good one